Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about microphones and loudspeakers. So for each one, we're going to see what is actually inside them and how does that allow them to fulfill their purpose. So first of all, a microphone has a structure that looks a little bit like this. Now, the whole purpose of our microphone is to turn pressure from, for example, someone's voice into um, an electrical current. That current can then be amplified. So this is a little bit what my inside of my microphone looks like. So right now I'm doing a red, uh, red which are showing the coils of wire, okay? So this part here, this part of the microphone here is called the diaphragm. Now what happens here is when someone talks or someone sings, for example, there's, they create sound waves which hit the diaphragm. As it does this, this, um, this whole section moves. So our coil of wire moves within our magnetic field. As you can see, this coil is fitted around this pole of the magnet, magnetic field, and we have this pole of the magnetic field there. So whenever we have the movement of a coil of wire within a magnetic field, we have the process of electromagnetic induction. That just means that we can create a current because as the diaphragm moves, the coil of wire moves within this magnetic field, allowing a current to be established. So we start off with pressure from the air, so the air pressure, which causes this to move, and that pressure results in a current. Now that signal can then be amplified, and that is exactly how our microphone works. Now loudspeakers, interestingly, have a kind of similar structure. So let me just draw one for you right now. So again, they involve very similar parts. So again, we have our magnets, and again, we have a coil of wire. But this one is slightly different, like I'll see, show you in just a second. So again, if you see here, it involves a magnetic field. But this time, we're trying to achieve something different. Because rather, um, rather than starting off with pressure and ending up with a current, we're going to actually send the current in in order to produce that pressure and to produce those sound waves. So how does it work? In order to understand how it works, we need to kind of cast our minds back to Fleming's left-hand rule. I've done another video about this that you can watch in a bit. Fleming's left hand rule tells us that if we have a magnetic field, so here is our magnetic field right here, and if we have, remember there's a magnetic field which is uh, established around coils of wire. When we pass current through a wire, there's a magnetic field there as well. So when that happens, we produce a force. And that force is what is moving this backwards and forwards. All this is here is a paper cone. Now, because it's an alternating current, it means that the force is going to constantly be changing direction. That's what allows this paper cone to move backwards and forwards to create vibrations. And those vibrations are going to create the sound waves that are given off here. So, Whereas in a microphone we've got electromagnetic induction, here instead we're using the fact that we've got this magnetic field from the magnets within the loudspeaker and the magnetic field that's created in concentric circles around each one of these wires in order to produce a force. So this time, rather than starting off with pressure and ending up with a current, we're actually starting off with a current, an alternating current, um, and we're ending up with pressure. And the pressure, which vibrates that paper cone forwards and backwards like that, that is what causes those sound waves and that is what people can hear. So that is the structure of a microphone and the structure of a loudspeaker. Thank you very much.